a lot of discussion I've seen on the, the Clay Buddies site has been about how um, difficult it is to use a Giffen grip and how useless they are and how you ought not to buy them. And you'll have to decide for yourself, but here we have a large cup. We're going to get it centered up and I'm going to trim three different sized items and you can decide for yourself if it's practical. So here's the first cut right here. The piece is now virtually complete and I'm going to hollow out the bottom a little bit. So make a standard studio foot. And I've got the bottom hollowed out Put the bevel. I'll put my tool down. Then I'm going to take my burnishing tool and I'm going to polish this up to perfection. I'm going to come across the bottom and make it as smooth and glossy as possible. Once I like the foot, I'm going to take that pot out. Now I'm going to put a different size pot in here, completely different size. Make sure it's running true. And part of getting it to run true is to realize that, like in any scroll chuck, the piece, if it's slightly placed off-center stays off-center because these arms don't center it by themselves. You have to adjust it until it runs true. Can you see that? All right, so the same thing will apply here. I'm going to do this cut and then round this shape right here till it's the shape I want. And you'll notice that I have a very bright light up to the right of me. This gives me a good shadow line that lets me see the shape. That's always helpful for trimming. Then I'm hollowing the foot slightly. There's a little bit of hollowing. And now I'm going to take the tool again from right here. I'm going to burnish the bottom. Make it as smooth as I can possibly make it. And polish this little area right here. And this piece is now done. And now we have one of the biggest problems we'll face. This riser on here makes this sit crooked. You can't trim it like that. The Giffen grip with this type of arm right here, which comes from an earlier kit, watch what it'll do. It'll hold this piece perfectly centered. Now I've got it. So I'm going to start and I'm going to reduce the foot. I didn't like the shape of it, but this is, was thrown by a student and so she wound up with that big a foot because that's what she could do. So I'm going to just carefully trim the foot down a little bit and I'm going to complete the shape I'm not altering the general shape of her piece at all. She's, this is her first pot. She wanted to make a little cream pitcher. Here it is. Then I'm going to produce the bevel. I'll cut out a little bit of hollow so that it doesn't rock. Then I'm going to take my burnishing tool from right here. And on little pieces like this, it's easier to burnish like this rather than to attempt to spin it because you can't really get that small. So I've just polished the inside bottom so it's real, real smooth. Then I'll just pick up the line right here and round it a little bit. That's clean. Then I'm going to pick up her line right here and round it. And you're done. So it doesn't really matter what size your piece is, what shape it is. You can even trim off-center pieces easily with the risers because you can use that follower method. But if you look at this now, her, it's still a cute little pitcher, but now that smaller foot makes it look more balanced. It sits beautifully. Most of this will be cleaned up, and I'm going to put handles on in a minute, as you've seen from another video, but these are ready right now. They're just the right moisture level. If you look at this, the shavings, the shavings are quite stiff, but they're still pla faintly plastic, and that's the ideal condition for trimming. If you try to trim with a Giffen Grip too wet, you wind up crushing things, and that's the biggest problem I have heard from people is, oh, it crushes my work. Well, you know that you're trimming too wet if it crushes your work. Also, notice that I don't put the, I don't use these at all. These are useless. They're absolutely of no value. The only part that has any value is this, and this allows you to hold the piece far enough up from the lip that you're not, you don't exert very much crushing force. Plus, many of these arms are even configured to be a little bit soft and springy. These are soft foam, so they conform to the piece. And the most that they might do is, is skid a little bit on this, but they don't crush it in the slightest. You don't get any indentation. So that's my advice is, if you don't like the Giffen Grip, but you have one, why not try to practice with it, study it, figure it out, and learn how to use it. It's a wonderful tool and then pass those tips on 
to other people. And if you've got tips for me, I want them too because I am continuing to grow and learn to use the tool better. And I thank you for watching.